Hey, why so frail here? I'm back with a demonstration of my physics uh, 3ds Max scene, and I have various different samples uh, for a collision and show you what I mean. I've already applied everything to my objects, and I've applied it to my timeline. So I'm just going to play through my timeline and explain it one by one. All right, as you can see. This first box is just a box, and, a, and there's a plane. And the box is just going to drop. It's going to hit the object, and it's just going to bounce off. And we can go and press play. See? Very simple. Secondly, I have a coffee table looking thing, and the middle insert is removed. Uh, it would normally be glass, and if I had a uh, different graphics card, I could actually put glass in there and make it explode, but I can't right now. So I'm going to show you the collision, uh, how it's actually passing through the object. See, that's very cool. Now I have uh, the same coffee table, except now I have a bunch of objects that are going to collide with these uh, little spheres. And these are just like little marbles, and as you can see, I have a, a lot of them. I like them to uh, just fall from different uh, distances, angles, you know, kind of create a, uh, a random effect to it. And let's, let's press play and see how it looks. And this demonstration is still buggy. You know, it doesn't look all that clean. But it, they're still colliding with every object that I have assigned. So that's that demonstration. Next, we create uh, some type of conveyor belt uh, setup. And as you can see, these objects are going to react with everything in this sample uh, based, based off the collision uh, of each object. So if we press play, as you can see, everything is going to move on the conveyor belt, and each object has its own collision. And uh, secondly, as you can see, uh, the thing that's really cool, and the reason I added this cylinder was because I started the cylinder off at an angle that it would try to roll ac across the conveyor belt, and then it kind of just slides in between the, cl the, the collision geometry for the conveyor belt uh, cylinder, and it just sits there and it rotates exactly how it would in real world. So that's very cool. So that's all I have for this demonstration, and I bet you're wondering why the hell there's this... Uh, 2010 Camaro coming by, but I'll get get into that a little bit later. All right, here's my next demonstration. Uh, here's a uh, small little coffee table, and here is a uh, Domino's setup. And also at the end of the Domino's, the last two Domino's right here are actually going to trigger this type of uh, catapult system. And it's gonna launch these little cubes. So let's let's see what it looks like and press play. So that's that's kind of cool. You know, you can create a scene just with dominoes, and it's very fun. All right, next I have a biped, uh, and. I have these objects that the biped is going to walk through. You can't really tell. And also I have this uh, little scene that the biped is going to walk through. And let's just see what it looks like for now. So let's press play. And as you can see, the biped is walking through. And it's actually able to, the, to kick its feet through the, the objects, creating all that geometry collision. And that's, that's very cool. And you can do this, you can set your scene up any way you like. You know, you could add this for your environment. This could be 
rocks and sand and your, your biped is just walking through your environment and colliding with the uh, real world objects. All right, and this brings me to my last example. And here I have an animated uh, Camaro and I'm gonna have it collide with this wall. So let's let's kind of see what it's gonna what it's gonna look like. So a car is starting to drive. Bam! It smashes right through that wall. Swings around. And let's watch that again. Uh, let's look at it from this angle. I know it looks kind of funny right here, but um, I'm sure it'll look good uh, at render time. And just look at that wall just like deteriorate. That's very cool. And let's kind of zoom out a little bit and kind of figure out what this car is actually doing. So it smashes through the wall drives around and now it's getting ready to burn out and that's it that's all I have for you for this video um, I showed you several different scenes of how you can use physics or NVIDIA's physics engine in 3ds Max and there's a lot of animation uh, things that you can do with this plugin so it's very cool also in order to get the, the Camaro animated what I did was you can download this for uh, 3ds Max 2010 it's a uh, craft director studio and that's how I was able to rig this car. As you can see right here. And so you just uh, take this mesh and you bind the body to the body, uh, the wheels to the wheels, and you hide the mesh. And and then you hit record, and then you pretty much just animate your car with your either your cube keyboard or you can hook up a uh, a steering wheel set up and you can animate your car in real time so yeah thank you guys